say, well, everything turns to sugar, and it does. It turns yeah. to sucrose, it turns to um, glucose that your cell uses for energy. You need sugar. But the way it gets there is important. So what happens to, to processed sugar when you eat it? Uh, and they didn't know this. Uh, it, it bombards proteins and fats in your system, in the organs, in your tissues, and especially in the skin. So you know what elastin and collagen are, right? Those are big cosmetic names about proteins in your skin that you want to keep hydrated and young. Well, sugar gets sticky. It actually gets like you see syrupy in your system. It's called glycation, and it breaks down, and it actually sticks to those proteins, and it makes them stiff, hard, like a board, when they should be soft and pliable and flexible, and that's the skin. So they did all these studies on sugar content in the body and, and amounts, and they measured them. And they found that the elastin and collagen in the skin was aged greatly by large amounts of sugar. So, you know the, you know the old numbers? In 1900, we consumed about 25 pounds of sugar a year as individual people in this country. And now it's up around 130. 130 pounds a year. That's bombardment. See, no wonder why we need so many cosmetic surgeries. Because <laughs> the skin is becoming so aged at an accelerated rate based on that. So, like a Coca-Cola has 12 teaspoons of sugar. So there's some people who drink a liter a day or two. Can you imagine? Plus whatever they get in food. But they, yeah, but what they, you know, a whole bunch of things happen. But talking about aging, so that happens to your internal organs also.